Zoran Margaryan has been the mayor of Yerevan since 2011. He was last re-elected in 2013, before being elected as mayor and becoming the lead Republican candidate. Zoran Margaryan presented the Better Yerevan Project, which was to be implemented from 2013 to 2017. Silvanet takes a look at which parts of the project the mayor of Yerevan has implemented and which ones were left unfinished and forgotten. In the urban development section of the Better Yerevan project, the Republican Party promises to build a highway linking Lenigratian Street to Admiral Iskov Avenue, build a road connecting Ulnetsi and Lubunyats Streets, build a highway connecting Artashad Highway to Shirak Street and Argavand Road Junction. The first two of the three projects have been fulfilled, while the third only partly. The municipality plans to finish the Artashat Highway, Argavand Road Junction, Shirak Street, the highway that bypasses Yerevan, by 2019. The project's next provisions are to complete the old Yerevan project, establish Parat Mativosian's house museum, build a student campus. These three promises are yet to become reality. Moreover, to Civilnet's inquiry about building a student campus, Yerevan Municipality Press Service said they do not remember such plans. The team headed by Daron Margarian successfully implemented the next three provisions, which are the modern building of Armenian Genocide Museum Institute, Komitas Museum Institute, the near completion of the reconstruction of the circus. The urban development and architectural issues during the years of Dara Margarian's mayorship received the most criticism. Public protests were triggered by cases of demolition of old buildings, such as the enclosed market, Bach Shuka, the Afrikaans Club building, the building at 30 Arami Street, the demolition of the publishing house, N1. The orderly Yerevan section of Better Yerevan project includes the building of or repairing of the following infrastructure without specifying the numbers, build ramps, repair the headwalls, double the ground and underground street passages, continue the reconstruction of multifamily building entrances, elevators, and roofs. These issues remain substantial in the capital. There are no ramps in most buildings. The elevators and roofs of large apartment buildings are in poor condition. The clean and green Yerevan section of the Better Yerevan project reads, set up a waste sorting processing plant. The municipality told Civilnet that the only work done towards the plant was the announcement of an internal competition. The program promises an operating trash pickup service, snow removal machines that are in accordance with international standards, and to implement a comprehensive plan for cleaning and garbage disposal. The Cenetech company assumed garbage disposal responsibility of the city and carries out the garbage and snow disposal with modern technical means. However, the issue of landfills is still unresolved. The landfills in the Nubarashen and Ajapnak districts have caused environmental and health problems. According to the government's 2016 September decision, these two landfills will be closed and a new landfill will be constructed in Yerevan, which must meet the conditions relating to domestic landfills. Darren Margarian has often become the target of criticism for transport problems. In 2013, the municipality suspended the decision to raise public transport tariffs from 100 AMD to 150 AMD because of mass citizen protests. In 2013, the municipality had promised to increase the number of medium and large buses, to modernize the metro in public transport, to ensure free movement of passengers with disabilities. The municipality informed Civilnet that 167 new buses were imported to the capital during 2013-2017. However, traffic congestion continues to remain one of the central problems of the capital. Several of these provisions of the Better Yerevan project have been implemented, but their rationale for the city and citizens remains under question. For example, in 2013, the municipality promised to completely renovate the zoo, which it successfully did, but sometimes at an incomprehensible cost. In 2016, it allocated about 188 million AMD from the municipal budget for building bear cages and 410 million AMD for the lion cages. 